Yorana Ngati Fresh. It's time for your weekly dosage of the freshness. And you're getting it from right here in paradise, from the Haver Festival in Tahiti. My name's Xavier Horan, and I'll be serving you up the freshest fruit in the Pacific. Straight up, you've never seen this much fresh fruit in your life. We've got the highlights from the ancestral games here at the Haver. And Auntie Tala is back to make fun of your problems. And I have to give him money. It's like, you're not going to know if I gave it or not, you know? Okay, Fano, check it out. The Haiva is a massive cultural festival celebrated here in Tahiti every year. It's broken into two main parts, traditional song and dance and traditional sports. And that's what all these uh, fresh physical specimens are doing right now. Welcome to the traditional game of the Haver. Hurry, move! for people carrying the fruits. They have to run with like 15 kilos for the women, uh, 20 kilos, 30 kilos, or 50 kilos. And they have uh, a distance to do it. Like uh, the first uh, running was like a kilometer 400. And it's pretty heavy, so it's not that easy. You have to train yourself. Why did you enter this? Uh, we've got the past couple of years we've been coming last year and this year, and this is uh, what we're trying to do is um, restart the ancestral games back in Aotearoa and uh, kind of connect it here to the islands as well. So, sis, you coming all the way from Aotearoa, how do you feel? To be honest, the, the weather is the first thing you think of. It's, um, it's heartily hot today. It feels hotter than all the other days we've had. Did you do any preparation for yeah. this? It's been about 12 weeks training. Organize a race of Baatawati. Uh, you know, there's 16 uh, paddlers on the on the water. Paddling, it's, it's it's our culture. We are all friends, and on the water we we paddle because we are warrior, and we all want to arrive first, and that's the that's the goal. What's your main thing you want to do today? I want to win. Yeah. Uh, kia ora tato. Um, here we are in Tahiti, in Punauia. We've got the Amo Fai, um, a part of the Tuaro Mahi Games, the ancestral Tahitian Games. Um, we've got a couple of ladies getting ready to do the, uh, the rock lifting, or the Amo Rao Fai, um, 60 kgs. Um, yeah, see how they go. A lot of people ask me if it's the same as um, gym lifting. It's um, pretty much a different technique. You have to um, pretty much retrain your body. The freshest thing is the strongest got the hottest chick in the hapu. So uh, obviously the boys are trying to uh, lift as fast as they can. Way back in the days, back in the Tupuna days, uh, the rocks were over 300 kgs. Um, so they were some big guys. Keep it fresh. Mauri ora. I'm feeling high, champion fly. Work hard every day till we reach to the goal. Yorana, everybody in Yotearoa and in New Zealand, today we are doing the traveling uh, competition. So everybody from the island come here for competition. Before I was uh, in the five, the best five in the 80, but right now, oh, 
Maybe the best uh, hundred and something, I don't know. <laughs> Everything is nice. And if you up, we fill your cup. Music I play to Give it fresh. <laughs> when we click me finger like you rock. <laughs> she a wine and a rum and syrup. Reaching out to all who do nine to five. Where you put in the work and a fight is strong. We are so proud because it's like brings people. We, we're going to share, we're going to talk. It's like a meeting place. And the feeling's right. Going on a high grade flight. Dogs are pro low. Girls are roll low. Everything is nice. Jump. Oh. Keep it fresh and have fun. Enjoy Maruru. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh, little boy. <laughs> oh, no wonder why these fellas all look like Polynesian gladiators. They got the meanest training going on. Boulder lifting, coconut tree climbing, fruit carrying, bar paddling, and all in this tropical heat. I don't know how they can all look so fresh. Hey, fellas, come straight back after the break. I'm gonna go do some burpees. Transistor! Transistor! Yeah, okay, here, send my love to mum. Yeah, hello, fuck. Pa. <laughs> oh, who's that? That's my sister. <laughs> you don't have a sister. But I used to have a brother. Oh, she's trans. Yes, that's my trans sister. <laughs> ten four, ten four. <laughs> <laughs> My hooky, my whanau, it's me, Xavier Horan, bringing you the freshest wairua right here in Tahiti. It's my first time here and it's mm, tino atapi. But no matter where I go, part of me is always at home with my whanau. So let's take a quick trip home right now, because this is my world. Uh, my name is Xavier Horan, I'm an actor, I'm 35 years old. I became an actor more so because I had nothing to do. I uh, just finished a national touch tournament representing Counties Monaco. And during the off field play, uh, I just did impersonations of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jean Claude Van Damme. And all my boys just kept saying to me, You should be an actor. Jenny, Jenny, where are you? Jenny! She's like, Daddy, Daddy! No, not Daddy. Come on. And anyway, Annie gets shot in the arm, mate. Eh? Oh, he's hiding behind the wall. And he's like, <sighs> Bennett. Bennett, stop screwing around and let the girl go. Stop screwing around and let the girl go. Put the knife in me. You want to put the knife in me? See what happens when you turn it. See what's going on in there when you turn it. Yeah, definitely, man. Those are some of them, my heroes growing up. Down here, there's a lot of uh, gladiatorial battles uh, witnessed. Uh, state of origin, All Blacks, Kiwis and Aussies, Kiwis are. And out here, it's where the field of dreams are, baby. Ten years ago, you know, like, the only actors really that New Zealand uh, had recognised, or the world had recognised, were like the likes of Cliff Curtis and Timueta Morrison. Uh, and now, you know, you've got the likes of Joe Nafahu, 
Bula Kuali, KJ Upper. So uh, Hollywood, or the world in general, is becoming a lot more familiar with our, our, our poly boys, you know. Uh, I think they're just, like the Aussie actors, uh, bring a lot more uh, manliness to, to the roles, and um, they just got something. The Americans can't grasp it. We know what it is. Um, and that's an attractable quality for filmmakers. I've got these for you. You shouldn't have done that. Well, I like getting you flowers. And Belky says that if you've got something you want to say to a lady, you should give them flowers. Improving as an actor is all about investing yourself, learning, 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 learning yourself and becoming better and better and better and doing and doing and doing. So I've got a lot of, of that to do. But at the, at the moment, I believe like I've got a, a, a reel of work that kind of gives a good range. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking for those kind of uh, more risky roles. Uh, the likes of uh, my left foot being in a in a wheelchair for for eight weeks and uh, breaking a couple of ribs, or I wouldn't mind being wrestled by a bear if it gets me an Academy Award. <laughs> because I'm big eels here in Aotearoa. <laughs> My son loved the Deadlands. We watched it on the plane on the way to Australia, but my oldest daughter, she thought it was too gory. I've done some comedic kind of commercials and stuff, and they get a kick. I, I do most of my acting for them here at home. Your cheeks are soft and luscious with the firm but tender succulents of two pork bucks. For me, you know, I look at my kids and I, I just think I want to be someone that they look up to, you know, so maybe I can remind them, oh, I remember that time when <laughs> you guys used to eat spaghetti on toast all the time? Yeah, those are some tough times, but, you know, we keep going, your mum and I struggle, and here we are, you know, so try to keep looking to the future and vision and have that faith that uh, life will be better. So, yeah, faith. Yeah, it's always good to go home, all right? But right now, out there is Rayatia, a stop off for my Waka Matatua. I think I'm gonna go for a swim, but I'll see you straight after the break. failed its warrant. Oh, that's a pity. Bro, I got one easy ears. Yeah, the mechanic must have had car pity for you. What up, Freshies? It's Xavier Horan here in Tahiti, and you're kicking it with the fresh physiques of the ancestral games here at the Haver. But right now, it's time for the lady with the fresh accent and the beard. It's Auntie Tala with Tau Tala Tala. It's Auntie Tala here, and guess what? What? It's another episode of Chow Chala Chala! And I've got an amazing panel for you today, starting off with my favourite TV presenter. Please give it up for Miriam Kamo! Yeah! Woohoo! And my all time favourite hip hop artist from Wellington, now in Auckland. Please give it up for Fiend Kapisi! Yeah! And my favourite actress, the insist on oh, sister who asked them, you want to see her on every magazine and TV programme, please give it up for Te Willa! Wow! Thanks, guys, for coming today. Now it's time to listen to your question, and my panel will try and answer it, and maybe even make things worse. Let's go to our video message. Hello, Auntie Tala. Um, I've got a question for you. I work really hard for my money every week. But then every week something comes up, a funeral, a birthday, and then I've got no money at the end of the week. The struggle is real, help me. Wow, wow, we've all heard uh, her problem, and it's something that we can all relate to, you know? So I, I guess, you know, if we start with you Bill, being full Samoan and, and with uh, being family, things and like that, how can you help Elena with her money problem? I think uh, one thing is, Elena, if it was possible to actually uh, um, budget 
mm. and cut out all the fast foods would be really cool. Wow. I mean, like me, I like to eat a lot of Kentucky, yeah. and mm. you do too. Oh, so just that's a little cool. bit. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just, just only switch. one family pack. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and so you know, I, I think that's one of the big things. You know, we all do make sacrifices for 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 our culture and our families, but to be able to say, hey, we don't need to uh, eat fast food all the time every day, lunch, breakfast, yeah. and dinner. Wow, yes, now there's good sacrifice, you know, things like food or cigarettes or, or TAP or casino or drugs. How about you, Teowila? What are your thoughts on this thing? I would say that it's about budgeting, though, um, and as long as you've taken care of your bills and what you need to, and if you have the extra to give, then give it, but yeah. don't put yourself in a negative situation, yeah. you know, just for a malofo or something like that. There's some great budgeting advice you've given, eh? and you're right, you know, when you budget, you budget to pay things off that have your name on it, eh? Or else you're going to go into trouble with, you know, debt collectors and things. Because the debt collectors don't come and say, ah, oh, you didn't give any money for your uncle's funeral, eh? Hey, so right. don't worry about giving right. money to Fala Belave, eh? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... You know, if they can't, they can't. Yeah, just no. change your number. Yeah, because the way I see it, you know, when my family passed away and I have to give them money, it's like, well, they're not going to know if I gave it or not, you know? Yeah. How about you, William? Do you ever get into this situation? So I liked what both of you said. So in Māori, we don't have quite the same pressure. Yeah. So, you know, that's good. We have to call her, but we don't get told exactly how much to put in. Yeah. So, you know, the pressure's not the same. But I would say, I really like your idea because um, you're not only freeing up some resource, but you're also doing things that are healthy for you, which is yeah. great. And then also I agree with Tuila, which is don't drain the well. You can't give what you don't have. So you've got to always retain something for yourself so that you can keep on giving. Wow, I feel uplifted when you're talking to me. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Miriama. But right now, Tawila, if we can just say to Elena maybe one thing that you would really like to encourage her about this situation. Mm. Elena, I totally feel a struggle girl, and um, like I said, it's about setting budgets mm. and setting boundaries because it's okay to sometimes say no. Yeah, wow. <laughs> and it's very hard to do it. It is. Yeah, yeah. especially me. Wait, well, how about you, Bill? Uh, Elena, I'm a, a true believer in give what you can, and if you can't, you know, just like just be able to accept it and just go, hey, mum, dad, or, or rest of the family, sorry, I, I don't have any because, or else I'm gonna have to go live on the street. It's very high culturally, yeah. but um, but you know, individually, but even as your own family unit, it's it's a hard thing to do. So good luck, Elena, and much love. Wow, nice, very nice, King Caps. Miriama, finish with you. So Elena, it's a tricky one, I think, but if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after to anyone yeah. else, and that applies to your finances or to your energy or your resources or really anything. Yeah, wow. I guess all I want to say to you, Elena, is don't stress out about it. Go spend your money on other things you like to do it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, if they're dead, they can't. The important thing I'm trying to tell Elena is look after number one, which is your boyfriend. Have a good week. Hope to see you next week. <laughs> Take care. Bye. <laughs> Oh, I hope Bunty uh, had some pearls of wisdom for you there. One way to gather wisdom is to travel. Up next is the segment where Polly's travel the globe, picking up and dropping knowledge as they go. You know what it is, it's Polly Postcards. Yeah, it's the wrong turn, we're going for the best. <laughs> My name is Tuki Laumea, and this is my Poly Postcard. We're in Graz, Austria. It's famous for being a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as that thing. It's the Schlossberg. What am I saying? Uh, that's not even the Schlossberg, it's the Schlossberg Tower. Eh? <laughs> this is one of the few places that Napoleon's army couldn't defeat, though. That's kind of interesting. In fact, he tried eight times to take this place. Failed. So the freshest thing about Austria, other than the history, the culture and the people, is the fact that when I was 15 and 16, this half Samoan lived here. 18 years ago to the day, I sat on this very spot over here. I saw one guy who I thought, that guy actually looks like a bit of an idiot. Turns out today, he is now my best friend. This guy down here. Hello. Yeah. Kiesa Leberkiesa, hubby. 
Kesley worked here as a Samoan? Being uh, half Samoan, raised in New Zealand and Samoa, prepared me quite well for coming here, but it was quite an eye-opening experience. Well, that's how you want to start your day. Moulded me and changed the way that I saw the world. Best thing about Austria, super underrated, is the food. Breakfast of champions. God, that is so unhealthy. At home in the Pacific, we are so lucky because we are surrounded by sea. Here in Austria, they're landlocked. Trying to speak their language, well, ich immer so bis auf dem Gierbar. Trying to learn their culture, but also trying to maintain, you know, my own culture. And so I think that has influenced the way that I look at the world now and the way that I approach people and approach different cultures. I could be better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken all of those experiences that I learned here as a kid and applied them to real life. <laughs> So along with Samoa and New Zealand, I consider Austria home. That's been my poly postcard. Schlechte. <laughs> <laughs>the towel show uh, I have to say a big maururu to all the Takata Whenua of Tahiti for showing me around I hope you enjoyed the show this is what's happening next week yeah we're right here in the heart of the Garden City Christchurch oh man there isn't anything quite like hanging out with you freshies this freshie Valencia of freshness for your eyeballs Maruru in New Zealand and Tahiti tourism for this freshness. Hello. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.